Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Juin Image Transmission Receiver and Controller. Okay, before we do the build, make sure that your image transmitter is already installed on the Juin Crane 3S. If you don't know how, we've already showed it in the previous video. Now, let's take a look at what we have here. On the left side, we can see these are accessories and components that are already included in the package. On the right side, we have components that are not included in the box but needed. So let's first do the easy one. We'll take the controller and connect it to this base plate. And we tighten it here. Now here we will connect our HDMI monitor. Here's a longer version of a one quarter screw that we will screw in on this side. And here's a little hot shoe mount, which has a one quarter hole here. We'll tighten it. Now we'll take a little receiver plate and attach it like this. Okay, we release this one to be able to move this around till we have it in this position. We have the two lower markings down below and the one above and lock it here. And now we take the image transmitter and slide it on the antennas we can turn around and face them up. And now let's move our monitor a little bit more into the inside so everything is more snugged in together. Okay, now let's connect the cables. We'll first take the video signal cables. The mini HDMI cable goes to the image transmission receiver and the full-size HDMI goes into our monitor. Now to make sure our controller works, it needs to be connected to the image transmission receiver too. So we'll take the right angle one and connect it here. And we'll take the other one, micro USB N, and connect it here. Now to make sure these cables don't fly around, I will highly recommend these vocal straps. One last thing, the monitor of course needs to be powered, so let's give it a battery. All right, we're ready to turn on all the systems. First, we turn on the gimbal. Then, very important, we turn on the image transmitter. Then the camera. And then, some cameras will pop up a USB connection choice. In this case, for the GH5S, we will select PC Tether. Now, on our receiving end, we will turn on the image transmission receiver. Then our monitor. Now we turn on also the controller. Long press. There we go. We can see that it has successfully detected our camera. We can see all the camera parameters. We have here, for example, aperture, ISO. We have also start and stop. Beside that, the amazing motion sync function also works. Here we have an on-off button for that. And you can also turn it off anytime. The good thing is after some shots, this camera might not be in the right position anymore. So they also give you a quick recenter button. Let's press that. Beside that, of course, there's also joystick control. And you also have the mode button where you can press and get into different modes. Then on this side of the controller, you can also actually control the focus wirelessly and also the zoom. And three devices can be synced up when using the image transmission system. So now your director, your client and your focus folder can all see the image on their own devices. Basically, yeah, now we really have no excuse saying that we don't have the right gear or tools to create some difficult shots. This really enables a lot of creativity. So yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments.